Taylor also finished 6th in the 1000 meters and 6th in the 1500 meters as the Lancers won the men's OUA title. In 2013, he won a silver medal in the men's 4x800 meter relay at the Ontario University Championships. Taylor tied for first at the St. Clair River Run this summer with a time of 32.58 and won the first ever Wambo Run in 2013. He's also been a member of the Wallaceburg Sting men's soccer team for the past three seasons and this year the Sting had a very successful season and are hoping to get promoted to the WOSL Premier Division in 2015. Congratulations Taylor on an excellent season. Well fortunately I'm blessed with a voice tonight. Sorry to hear that Shane. And my mom said I had to say something nice, so, so I got her to write me something nice. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <clears throat> First off, I'd like to thank everyone who was here tonight to contribute to making this night so special. It's truly great to represent such a small town that takes so much pride in its citizens' achievements and honor them. I've always been proud, represent, I've always been proud to represent Wallaceburg when I'm away from home, competing or meeting people. Everyone usually knows where Wallaceburg is because I've either drove through it or they had a ton of hockey tournaments here. I tell them if they drive through again, don't hit the guy running on the side of the road, it's probably me. <laughs> Receiving Athlete of the Year means a lot to me. Though I'm away at school in Windsor and training, competing with coaches and teammates from all over, it is the support I receive from my home that keeps me humble and sane at some tougher times. Receiving continual support from my family, friends, that have followed my running. I can probably thank David, a fellow award winner tonight, for documenting my running career in the Courier Press since I started competing about grade nine. It was also a great experience being able to share this special night with fellow award winners who have been close friends of mine growing up, Joel Shepley and Jordan Durston. Being awarded now for great accomplishments for things we simply considered fun as kids. Being a uh, member of the Windsor 4x800 meter relay team that took gold and broke the Canadian University record at the National Championships of Edmonton last March was a race that was a long time coming for myself. Being denied the opportunity to run the race the year before, I told myself I wouldn't fall short next year. So when I stepped on the line that day, I knew I had wanted to prove something. Over the course of the 800 meter race, I had come close to running my fastest 400 meter, which could have backfired real quickly. Luckily, my fitness came through and allowed me to contribute a personal best. At, the, at that moment, I couldn't believe I had run that fast, and I had the confidence, I had all the confidence in the world in my two closest friends and teammates that were to finish the race. It was an overwhelming feeling that near brought me to tears. Any one of you who have experienced in their own championship moments can understand how I felt. The first thing I did after that race, before I had taken off my shoes, was call home and share with my friends and family the moment I was experiencing. It, it's funny that I had such a need to connect with home. I was simply calling home because I knew I was sharing a moment with people who cared about me deeply. 